So you currently have or want to have raspberries. That is a really, really good idea. They are by far my favorite fruit. The tangy sweetness and the popping sensation of all the individual little, little lobes inside the berry just, just does it for me. They, they seriously are my favorite fruit. But they can be quite tricky to grow, especially if you do the right thing at the wrong time. So what does that mean for growing your own raspberries at home? Well, it means there are a few things that you have to know about this plant. Once you know these things, it'll forever set you up for big harvests moving forward and to make sure that you always do the right thing at the right time of the year. So, without wasting any more time, let's take a look at how raspberries grow, what you need to know about them, so that you can make decisions to maximize your harvests and the ultimate growth of this tree moving forward. Before we get into some of the content, I just want to thank all of my loyal subscribers that have been with me for many, many years. And for those of you that are seeing this video for the first time and coming across my content for the first time, welcome. Thank you for watching this video. Please do subscribe so that you can continue to take in content and knowledge that I am busy sharing with you. If you find this video to be useful, please click in the link below to buy me a coffee. You can join up as a member on YouTube as well. There are many different ways that you can support my work and this channel moving forward. But let's move into raspberries, raspberries and more raspberries. So to not make this video too long, what I'm going to do is I'm going to very briefly touch on the most important thing that you know about raspberries and then I'm going to send you off to my Blackberry video. Why? Because in my Blackberry video I talk in detail about this specific topic which is Primo Canes and Flory Canes. Raspberries are very similar to blackberries in that they grow on primo canes and floricanes and you need to know the difference between them because ultimately how you treat and handle each one determines what's going to happen with your, your harvest and your crops. So there's a detailed explanation on the blackberry video. I've put the link in the description below. I've tagged it somewhere up here that you can watch as well. But as a very quick summary, primo canes are the green new canes that come out of the ground in early spring. I'm not going to touch on fruit bearing quite yet because I just want to stick to canes. Your flurry canes are last year's canes that have overwintered and are now putting on side shoots. Primo canes are the first ones to come up and will continue to grow vertically. They will not grow horizontally. Flurry canes stop growing horiz horizontally and they start growing vertically. That is a very important differentiator between the two. You will also see in the stems the key telltale sign between primocanes and floricanes are the color of the stems. Floricanes, second year old growth, is gray and brown and brittle. It's also got flakiness on the bark. Your primo canes, this year's growth that has come out in spring, will be green and nice and thick and tender and towards the end of the season will go a, a light brown color. Your floricanes over time will start silvering. So that is ultimately how you tell the difference between them. Now, why is this so important? Because depending on the variety you have and now we're moving into the next chapter which is you need to know the variety of raspberry or blackberry that you have because that is going to determine how you treat your plant what you get is three types of raspberries you get summer bearing autumn bearing and ever bearing now in blackberries you mostly get everbearing which I'll explain to you in a bit. But in essence, summer bearing raspberries are the ones that bear the fruit on the floricanes of the previous year and they can come in as early as late spring into early summer. But then what happens is the new growth comes up and it sets those canes for the following year. Then you have autumn bearing raspberries. Autumn bearing ones are the ones that you can mow down 
cut down, weed eat down as much as you want. You can cut the whole plant to the ground. And in spring, the, all the shoots are going to come up, all the canes. And at the end of summer, towards autumn, they're going to give you one huge flush of raspberries. But you're not going to get them in early spring or early, sorry, late spring or early summer. Then what you get is this one in front of me, which is the heritage variety, which is by far around the world the most common raspberry variety. And this is an ever-bearing variety. Ever-bearing meaning you keep both canes. You keep your primo canes from this year and you keep your flurry canes from last year. On ever-bearing raspberries like this one, you'll see on the picture over here, this is a flurry cane. The plant looks worse for wear because we are in autumn and we are now getting below zero nighttime temperatures. So it's starting to lose its leaves. But what this is showing you is there's a strong cane that's growing and on the tip of the cane, even over here, there are flowers growing up here all over the place. On ever bearing raspberries, the plant will grow and you will find that you get a harvest of raspberries on the growing tips of the primo canes. That is very important to know. Then what happens is the following year, what you will get is on that primo cane that produced on the tip the one year is now going to produce lateral shoots the next year. And on the lateral shoots on the ends of those, you are going to get clusters of raspberries. So you can start to understand now that if you prune the wrong cane at the wrong time, you are eliminating a harvest all together. So your, your flurry canes, which is your second year growth, which is going to give you the lateral shoots, they're going to give you fruit late spring, early summer because they are already established. So that's how you get that nice early succulent fruit early on in the season, which you don't get in a lot of your other berries. Then what happens is the, your flurry canes will start to go a little bit dormant. You can see these are all pretty much dead and your flurry canes are going to take over and they, towards the end of the growing season, which is now for us, which is autumn, are going to just explode with berries on the growing tips of the canes. That is what gives you your autumn, late summer, autumn berry harvest. So you can see how having both canes present gives you berries throughout the season. Now, it's important to note that the heritage variety, which is the ever bearing variety, will give you smaller yields more often throughout the year. Whereas if you look at a summer bearing or an autumn bearing, they're going to give you a lot of berries in one go. So it's all up to you as to the preferences you want. You might want to get a summer bearing, an autumn bearing and an ever bearing variety so that you have a huge amount of berries throughout the year. That is completely up to you. And that brings me into the next chapter, which is what do we do with pruning to make sure we don't end up messing around with the wrong canes at the wrong time? Well, first of all, go back to chapter one, which is what are primo canes and flurry canes? How do you tell the difference between the silvering and the brown, the first year and second year? And once you can identify the differences between the bark, when the tree is dormant, so not tree, sorry, the bush, <laughs> is dormant, it's lost all of its leaves, you're just going to have a whole bunch of canes. And what will happen is your flurry canes, second year growth, would already be, oh, thorns, very brittle and this is just snapping off and it's dead wood. So your flurry canes are going to be quite brittle already. So those you are going to remove completely. All of your second year growth, which is silver, silver growth, should have died off. But if you have a whole bunch of growth on it, it's okay. It would not be doing much in the third year in any case. So all your silver branches with bark, flaking bark, they come out during winter. All of your primo canes, which is this year's growth, which are going to be next year's flurry canes. Those you want to select. Now, you need to decide where you are growing these. If you have them in a pot like I do, then you want to have no more than five strong primo canes because if you have more than that, 
the plant is going to become too weak and you only want the thick strong ones and I'll show you the difference between thick ones and weak ones down at the bottom here we want your strong ones because they're going to continue to grow and they're going to support a lot of lateral growth and berries you don't want these spindly little sticks to to be your foundation for next year's growth you don't want to reduce them to less if you absolutely have to you can probably go three so between three and five but i would try and stick to five so that you get a good harvest then what you do is put your stakes in like this and here are one two three four and here's the fifth one five so these are the stakes that i use and you just simply take this branch over here which is a primo cane and just fix it to it so that you've got a nice open vase shape you stake them up in in the winter so that next year's spring when your floricanes are going to put on lateral growth and start putting berries on and get heavier they're not going to fall over the branches or the canes won't snap they they're quite elastic so if they do fall over it's okay you're just going to find that the the fruit spoils pretty quickly so now that we know primo canes flurry canes we know varieties to look out for and now we know pruning what else do we need to know well it all comes down to feeding and fertilizing and watering now what i have found with raspberries is that they generally don't require a lot of care and attention the only thing they do need a really close eye on is watering these beautiful big raspberry leaves take in a lot of moisture so you need to make sure that your moisture level in the soil is always at optimal the tree will talk to you so the, the leaves will droop you might even get some burn on the outside where they get really crispy but your tree or your bush will talk to you so listen to it also to be able to put on lots of berries they are very moisture dense berries it needs a lot of moisture so with raspberries you don't want them to be waterlogged because they don't like waterlogged but you also need to make sure they have enough water so soil is very important with raspberries you want a relatively free draining but not very free draining that the water just soaks through so you have to have a lot of organic matter that can hold on to moisture but you don't want a lot of clay or things that are going to hold on to moisture for a long time so that you end up getting things like root rot fertilizing i've done a, a video that i can show you which is based on foliar feeding i only foliar feed the raspberries i don't give them anything in the pot because of the the surface area of the leaves foliar feeding works incredibly well for them so that's that's all that i do and besides that make sure that they're in a sunny spot this has sun all day whole day and it's a very happy plant besides all the dying off leaves because it's going into dormancy and that is in essence in a very quick summary everything you briefly need to know about raspberries i am going to do a dedicated pruning video in a couple of months time when the bush is completely dead so that we can go into detail and i'm going to talk you through every single cut why i've done what so that you can better understand how to prune your raspberries but for now the foundation is there please do go and watch the blackberry video as well and thanks again for watching this video if you do like this content and like what i do please support me by buying me a coffee subscribe to the channel and if you have any questions or comments please drop them below because as always i will get back to you until next time happy growing